Welcome to another video in Travel Small Live Big's A Few Faves series, where we share a few favorites of a certain genre, such as Oregon Lakeside Campgrounds, California Central Coast Campgrounds, or in this video, California's Off the Beaten Path Campgrounds. And our favorites in this particular video are all Central slash Southern California campgrounds. If this is your first time, or hey, 27th time visiting our channel, please consider subscribing for more videos in this series. First up, KCL Campground within the Carrizo Plain National Monument. And where's that? East of the San Luis Obispo area, kind of southwest of the Bakersfield area, and north of the Santa Barbara and Ventura area. The Carrizo Plain is a large grassland plain that covers over 245,000 acres. It's about 50 miles long, and it's the largest single native grassland in the state. It includes two primitive campgrounds, Selby, which seems to be more suited to tents and it's a bit hot and dry, and KCL, which is suitable for tents and smaller RVs. Dispersed camping is available in certain areas within the National Monument as well. KCL offers 12 sites for tents or RVs up to 25 feet. It is all dry camping, pack in, pack out. All garbage must go home with you and there's no water available. There are pit toilets and the usual picnic table and fire ring in each spot. It is all first come, first served, and hey, free. Why a favorite? It is totally off the beaten path. You have to drive a long, long way on a semi beat up road to get there. There are no towns or services within miles. But there is a lot to do here. Hike. Explore the old Kern County Land Company remains, visit the Dry Soda Lake Bed, enjoy the Visitor Center, see the San Andreas Fault, and meander about the old farming equipment. It was quiet, peaceful, and the view was stunning. We loved it. Another off the beaten path favorite is Aliso Park, which is not far from the Carrizo Plain. This small campground is located a few miles south of Highway 166, which is the east-west highway that runs from the Santa Maria area over to Maricopa, and really is just a bit south of the Carrizo Plain. The turnoff is 66 miles east of Santa Maria. Take Aliso Canyon Road south about seven miles, look for a very small sign, and take a sharp right. Meander a bit further through the dry brush, oil fields, and then suddenly, oak trees will greet you. The campground offers 10 sites for tents or RVs up to 23 feet, another dry campground, all pack in, pack out, again, please take all of your trash with you, there's no water available, only pit toilets. Camping here is free with your Adventure Pass, which you can get online. The Adventure Pass is an annual pass, and I believe the cost in 2020 is $30 for the year. The big surprise here, a running creek in April. Perfect for old lab Lexi, rest in peace girl, to cool off. We also enjoyed baby owls and some parent owls in the trees above us. Besides the creek and the owls, there's nice walking here. Seems a lot of the locals come up for mountain biking, dog walking, or hiking on the fire road. We came here for peace and quiet and getting off of the beaten path, our favorite. Our third off the beaten path favorite is Balch Park and Mountain Home State Demonstration Forest. This campground is northeast of Porterville and Springville and is up a windy, narrow mountain road. If towing a trailer or if you're in a decent sized RV, we suggest the northern route into the campground, not the southern route. We took the southern route in towing our scamp, and when it basically turned into a single track road we knew heading out, we would take the northern route. Mountain Home State Demonstration Forest is over 4,800 acres of mixed conifer forest with some surprises. It offers horseback riding, rock climbing, scenic drives, historical sites, and a few campgrounds. We visited Balch Park. The campground offers 71 sites, all dry camping, no hookups. Drinking water is available as well as flush toilets. The usual picnic table and fire ring can be found in each site. 
The campground is open mid-May through late October or mid-November, weather permitting, I'm sure. Our friends had to leave when snow was coming in, and on our visit, after being hot down at Success Lake and wearing shorts and flip-flops, drove up to snow, and I think that was in May. It was cold. It is all first come, first serve, and in 2020, the website states the sites are $15 a night. What else? Sequoias. It borders Sequoia National Park, and some of these trees made their way into this park. There are also two fishing ponds, and one we know was stocked. The Indian bathtubs, old grinding holes that fill with water. Hiking, bird watching, fishing, and great walking. A beautiful night sky, it, it's up there in elevation, over 6,000 feet, so cold at night, but clear of any ambient city lights. Again, another peaceful campground, but I think it's been found since our visit. Expect a lot of people on summer weekends. We love the ponds and watching the fishermen. We love the walking, seeing deer, the sequoias, of course. And this is a dog-friendly area. Once out of the campground, a well-behaved dog under voice control can be off leash. Perfect for old lad Lexi. The new one, not yet. For her, a leash. We hope you've enjoyed our off the beaten path campground favorites in let's say Southern Central California. We are sure there are loads more, but these were a few of our favorites. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and remember, we like comments, questions, and campground suggestions. Thanks for watching.